Welcome back to Black Star Dove. Welcome back to my channel. As always, I do need that HBO special, which means help a brother out. Trying to get the 1,000 subscribers. Go ahead and click that like button. I most definitely do appreciate you. Um, let's talk about this video. And I noticed a whole lot of videos of black Americans doing things like why I have given up on the American dream. I'm here to do the opposite. I'm here to say why I haven't given up on the American, why I haven't given up on the American dream. Um, and then what I want for myself. So, you know, the American dream is usually like a really nice job, nice cars, nice house, white picket fence, maybe a dog, you know, that stuff like that. And a lot of people have given up on it for multitude of reasons. Like a lot, a lot of it is becoming too expensive. You know, forget like having a house. People just can't even afford to live in their apartments. Um, a lot of people have given up on love because they said that this generation, these generations of datings don't know what love is. You know, I haven't given up on it. You know, I still want to be married. Most definitely be, be married to a black woman. Um, I still believe in having a house that it doesn't have to be the nicest house. I would like a one level house. I don't, even want, I don't even want a two level house. I just want a nice one level house. Like a four bedroom, two bathroom. Well, four four bedroom, 2.5 bathroom. Because then I can have like I have bathroom in my uh, in the master bedroom. Um, Yeah, just like it's the little things that still matter to me. Like, you know, having multiple streams of income, having a family, traveling with my wife, you know, being a provider. It's like I still have or I still have this this goal in mind of how I say things. You know, my son is getting older, so I most definitely want to show him that full family experience. Um, I want I want the best for his mother because it's like I want her to be able to be successful because when she's successful, I know that she's that he's successful because it's an extension. And I guess vice versa. Um, I do have this wonderful woman that I'm speaking to right now. Uh, I really hope things do work out between me and her. Um, she's she's very, so far she's more than anything I could ask for, and that still gives me hope that the American dream is still possible. Um, it's like super weird as I say this, and I think about it sometimes. Like, man, do I even want to still get married? Yeah, I do. Um, I lost my. Uh, my, my ex fiance, my because I was scared about you know that whole marriage thing. Like, can I be a provider? Can I truly do this? And I let that scare me to the fact where I ended up losing her because I just wasn't ready. <laughs> so, but now it's a little bit different. Now I know I'm able to be a provider, I'm able to be a family man because I, I know what it takes to you know raise a child and what to help raise a child. Cause I'm raising my son. Uh, I'm able to be able to provide for a full family. At least I think so. So far, you don't know until you actually do it. You know, I'm looking for that wife who's going to be, I don't agree with a whole lot of what Kevin Samuel says, but there's something that he says that I really do agree with FBI and CIA men are CIA confident, intelligent, and assertive women are FBI feminine beautiful and inspirational i believe if you have a man having those things and a woman having those things and they come together and everybody knows their roles like the american dream is still possible to me um i know what it takes i know the work i have to put in i'm very ambitious um the word no doesn't really scare me that much anymore like so many people are still frightened by that word like you know tell somebody no it's almost like they they freeze up Sometimes I still do too as well because I'm not perfect. But the word no doesn't shock me as much as it does a whole lot of people. I almost come to really expect it. Um, but I know I'm going to be able to do this because I believe in myself. And I believe in my abilities and I, and I know that what it takes to be a, be a provider. I know what it takes to be able to help my community and to be a person of change. And the best way I can show my son is by putting in the work. So I haven't given up on the American dream. 
I'm still going forward with my American dream. And I plan on doing everything in my power to achieve my version of the American dream. And I still encourage you to do yours. Do yours. You know, dating is what you make of it. There are plenty of, of awful men. And there are plenty of awful women. Let the awful people be with the awful people. There are plenty of people that are quote unquote your type that you're just not ready for. Because you might like them, but they might not like you. Or they might like you and vice versa. And then we're just learning. And then no one is perfect. As long as you understand that part, no one is perfect. But you will find what you're looking for if you keep working on yourself. And then that person just happens to come along. That's why I feel like that happened in this circumstance. But other than that, take care. I love you. Peace. Keep the American dream alive. Bye.